Thus far in this section of the video series, we've talked about creating our own custom apps here in Podio, giving a name to our app, choosing an icon for our app, how to add data fields so that we know what type of information is going to be entered into the app, choosing the type of app, whether it's just a standard Podio app or a meeting-based app, and in this video, we're going to talk about the interaction section of building apps here in Podio. And what this really entails is how our members of this workspace can interact with this particular app. So if I click down on this list here, you'll see that we have a number of different options. So by default, members of this workspace are allowed to comment on this app. They're allowed to add things to the app so they can go ahead and add a new project in our particular situation here with our project app. And they can also edit items in the app. So if there is already a project submitted, members of the workspace can go in and edit that. Now, depending on the situation, you might not always want them to have that capability. So you could uncheck the let members edit items in this app box. You could also uncheck the let members add things to this app. That might be a scenario where you as the business owner want to have an app where you can add projects and you want your members to be able to see those projects, but you don't want them to be able to add new ones or edit existing ones. So you can kind of decide based on your situation how you'd like to handle the interaction here. And then you can also hit this checkbox to let members sign off by approving or rejecting things in this app. That'll actually add a field for them to approve an item. So if it's a project app, maybe you want your project manager to approve or disapprove, reject the particular project that has been submitted. At the same time, we have a few other optional fields down here. We have the RSVP field. So if you're going to choose the meeting type app, like we talked about in the last video, it's probably a good idea to add this RSVP field so that members can let you know whether or not they're going to be attending the meeting. You can also enable five-star voting. So it would add a field where members could choose from one to five stars if you know, how they, how much they like the project in this particular case, but it, you could really use that for whichever app you're building. You can enable a rating system. At the same time, along the same lines, you could enable yes or no voting. So again, uh, maybe you don't want to do this approving or rejecting option. You could enable yes or no voting so your project manager could vote yes or no. Um, this is really useful if you've got a team of members working and you want input from all of them, so you've got five people, you can enable this yes or no voting, and then all five of them can uh, choose yes or no whether they want to move ahead with the project. And then the thumbs up, thumbs down voting is just a different way, really, of saying the yes or no. Yes or no is so strict in the sense that it's either 100% yes or 100% no. Thumbs up or thumbs down is more opinion-based. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Or a thumbs down is, you know, I don't think this is a good idea. So if you've got a large organization, you want input from all 25 of your members, you can enable this thumbs up, thumbs down voting, and you can kind of get an overall opinion of the item in the particular app. So I'm actually going to enable all of these fields so that at the end of this section of the video series, when we take a look at our app once we're finished building it, we'll see what these fields look like. Uh, so I'm just going to enable those and hit save for now. Stay tuned for the next video in this section where we talk about configuring tasks for our app here in Podio.